A second silent film that I would consider a classic is something that is the complete opposite of the general. The movie I'm referring to is George Fitzmaurice's 1926 silent film, Son of Sheik. The movie stars Rudolph Valentino and Vilma Banky. It is the sequel to the 1921 silent film, The Sheik. Unlike the general, The Son of Sheik is more action-packed, it contains more violence and not as comical, even though there is a small amount of comedy. The Son of the Sheik is about Ahmed, the Sheik's son who ends up falling in love with Yasmin, a dancer and the daughter of the renegade Frenchman, who leads a troop of thieves. Yasmin is promised more Gabed, but this all changes when she meets Ahmed. Ahmed is then attacked and captured by Yasmin's father and held for ransom. Yasmin's father misleads Ahmed into believing that everything between him and Yasmin was not real. She was only tricking him. Ahmed is eventually set free but truly despises Yasmin and decides to capture her. Later, Ahmed learns that Yasmin never betrayed him like he was told. When he knows the truth, he fights against the gang of criminals and attempt to rescue Yasmin. The story alone is what makes this film a classic. The plot is full of twists to grab the audience's attention. The overall theme of this movie is an intense love story between Ahmed and Yasmin. Generally, you don't see the male character rejecting the female. Normally, he is trying to win her affection or find a way for the two of them to be together. Ahmed and Yasmin were so madly in love at first. The whole story changed drastically after Ahmed was captured and was told lies about Yasmin's intentions with him. He then began to despise Yasmin, which left her heartbroken. What also stands on this film is the editing. There is one scene where it dissolves from one character's face to another. In addition, this film had a wide variety of different shots, which is similar to how many movies are shot in the present. For example, there was one shot when Yasmin was dancing. This was a medium close-up of her feet. Then, it went to a long shot of her dancing. There was another shot where she, there was an extreme close-up of Yasmin's eyes. I did not notice this type of camera work in any of the other silent films that I've watched. The Son of the Sheik is full of action. There are several fight scenes throughout the movie. However, one character was the joke of the movie. He was the comic relief since he was so goofy and clumsy. He stood out so much from the rest because he was a small, odd-looking man and the only non-serious character. The plot of this movie was a very difficult story to tell without any words, and George Fitzmaurice did an excellent job visually to get the story across. The actors were believable, not overdramatic at all. The costumes and the different sets were exquisite.